Hi, my name's Lee and I work for a company called CountyNet based in Northampton. And today we're going to show you how to terminate some Cat5e cable to a Cat5e module. Now I have some Cat5e cable, a obviously a Cat5e module, an IDC or a punch down tool, um, some, a cable strip back tool and some side cutters. Now first of all you want to get your Cat5 cable use the strip back tool and strip back about 50-60 millimeters of the sheathing so twist that round break the sheathing pull that off now this is used for stripping back the cable uh, if you need to go any further but we don't need that so we'll, we'll cut that off right now you've got your pairs if you look closely at your module which every module should have the color code in um, we want to use type B today um, anywhere is normally type B unless it's in America. Um, right, so we want the orange and orange white there. So try and keep these as twisted as possible and just untwist as much as you need, no more. So there's the orange and orange white in there. We then need the blues and they're in there. Then we'll go to this side. We've got the browns. That's them there, and finally the greens. So double check you've got them all right. Type B. That's that looks good to me. That's fine. Now you want to put it on a hard surface or cup it in your hand. I prefer a hard surface if you've got one. And you want to push down like so. And as you do that, it will push it in between the pins and chop off the excess like so. Quite gone in, so we'll just redo that one. There, there we go. So it's nice and right to the point, there's no excess cable coiled up in there, that's fine. And then what you normally do is you'd strip, you'd clip that back into a faceplate inside a back box. Thanks for watching.